Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is a quick video for uh, all of you out there running Windows 7. We are January 2019 now and that means that in a year time from now, one year from now, you will have the last security update ever. It's basically what we call Windows 7 end of life cycle. So you might say, well, it's so popular and why are they doing this and they should extend. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it in one of the uh, easy to understand reasons. We learned this month that pretty much everybody agrees that Windows 10 is now more popular than Windows 7. That will comfort Microsoft in basically saying bye bye to the old operating system. So Windows 7 was released in July of 2009. Pretty long time ago. So in July, Windows 7 will officially be 10 years old. And that's pretty much the life cycle of an operating system for Microsoft. It always was 10 years of support. Now, what do you need to do? What do you need to think? What's the possibilities? A lot of Windows 7 machines are actually very powerful. If you have one, of course, from 2009, well, it might not be very powerful. And if you've got something that is, I would say, more than seven or eight years old, you should probably start thinking, okay, this is the year I got to think about maybe buying a new PC um, if it's at you know the last year of Windows 7. Of course. One of the first questions you might ask is, okay, so Windows 7 is going to stop working in January 29, uh, 2020? No, it's not. It's still going to work. You will still have Windows 7 on your PC. It's still going to let you do whatever you've been doing. Where the problem is, is that Windows 7, once the support ends, will not get any security updates anymore. And the fact that there's no security updates anymore that means that you will start being uh, pretty much vulnerable to security flaws. And that means that you will probably have, as time goes by, more and more online dangers. You will have some security hazards as time goes by. Not necessarily immediately, because you'll have, you know, a, a security. Uh, update in January of 2020. But after that, it's going to start being a problem. Now, it's not totally immediate and it's not totally of a problem immediately also for another reason. If you're not using any of Microsoft's own software like Internet Explorer as a browser, for example, uh, if you're using Google Chrome, of course, I suspect Google Chrome or Firefox will continue supporting Windows 7 for a while, like they did with Windows XP. They continued supporting your browsers with updates even after the deadline. Because Windows 7 will still be on quite a lot of machines. So if you use a third-party browser like Google Chrome, for example, well, you should be OK. I mean, it should be um, an, an OK problem. Uh, for sure, because um, you will still, even though the operating system itself is vulnerable on the web, the operating, the, the browser itself will still be pretty secure. So that should be okay. The other thing you should check out. So what do you do this year? If you have a PC that is less than seven or eight years old, running Windows 7, what should you think? What should you do? What I would actually um, start thinking is a possible move to Windows 10. And thanks to a loophole that still exists, your Windows PC running Windows 7, well, on the case somewhere or underneath somewhere, or if it's a custom-built PC, on you, you, you have a Windows 7 valid key, a valid license. So that means that if you install Windows 10 and use that valid key, well, you get Windows 10 for free. It is still possible to do so. And, you know, 
they haven't stopped that loophole from working, so I would guess this is a possibility that will probably work all year. Upgrading your PC, your existing PC of Windows 7 to Windows 10. Of course, if you don't know how to do this, you can ask for a friend or somebody to do it for you. Um, that would actually extend your PC's life for you know maybe a few more years as um, they probably will work fine and you'll probably have a compatible Windows 10 computer and that would be a nice upgrade to give your PC um, so you know there are a few options out there think about it you have one year to think about it it's not urgent to do so right now but at some point a decision will need to be made about what you actually do. And last but not least, if you know you say, "Well, I don't want to go to Windows 10," or I, you know, whatever. Well, another alternative for an old PC running Windows 7 is maybe to look at distros of Linux, uh, which could be an alternative to Windows, and um, that you could actually be running your PC on. And um, stay safe because you'll have some, you know, like Linux Mint or Ubuntu or some Linux distros that will probably work on your older PC. And those, well, they'll be, you know, secure and updated. Uh, of course, there's a learning curve, so you got to remember that. But uh, these are a few hints, and, uh, you know, don't panic. Uh, there are a few, like I said, a few options out there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.